Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. I do your reading almost daily and I upload your videos right away. So these messages are current. Today we are going to get you some important love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. And for those of you com complaining that you can't hear me, asking me to speak louder, please download an app to boost the volume of your device. I can hear myself clearly clearly on my phone. 80% uh, of my subscribers, viewers, can hear me clearly. And we've got the 20% who keeps complaining about that. But anyway, type in uh, volume booster and you will see many options available. And one of my subscribers actually suggested that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And no, I cannot speak louder. I speak however I feel comfortable, all right? Taurus, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show, please show me important love messages for Taurus today. For once. swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck for me this indicates healing and recovery finally for a lot of you releasing the past releasing past hurt pain or re releasing somebody from your past okay but the ten of swords in reverse also can indicate somebody who would like to fix things with you somebody who would like to remove the swords off of your back perhaps wanting to reconcile heal this connection right but Taurus, if you no longer are connected with someone from your past, there's someone new here, Page of Cups with the Four Wands, who is going to be offering you something. This person could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Could also be a fire, a lot of fire energy I'm getting here. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this person is going to be offering you either a commitment or moving in together, depending where you're at right now with your person. If there is somebody, if if this is someone completely new, there's an offer of a uh, relationship for ones. And Page of Cups also can be uh, an apology. Some of you, this is an apology from someone from your past wanting to reconcile. But I feel like with the nine of wands here, you'll be a little bit uh, cautious. You may not be 100% sure in regards to this person, whatever this person has got to offer to you. Maybe they could also be sending you a message. I feel like you are going to have your guards up. Unless roles are being reversed. Unless it's you offering it to someone. Then your person may feel like they need to think about it. Um, they may have their guards up. Again, it could go vice versa. All right. So we've got the two of wands here. The chariot and the temperance in reverse. There is definitely an indecision, right? Two of Wands, somebody trying to decide, should I stay with this person or wait for this person or should I move forward? Spirit's definitely encouraging you to move forward, okay? Go on, for those of you currently in separation right now with your person, Taurus, Spirit's definitely saying, move away from this person, move away from this connection. Um... Because the chariot here is like moving forward, trying to achieve other things in your life, as in, uh, what's that word again? Something about life goes on. That's what I'm getting at. Life goes on. Don't let it hinder you from moving forward. Don't let it hinder you from achieving what you want to achieve in your life. Or if you want to meet somebody else, somebody new, don't let this past energy or this past person. To hinder you from meeting somebody new okay six of swords for some of you you could be traveling thinking about traveling um if it's not about traveling the chariot and six of swords can indicate you you know moving forward moving on and again i feel like spirit's definitely encouraging you to move on from this connection whatever they've got to offer to you obviously you maybe you won't be 100 percent comfortable with it or that you may not completely trust this offer, right? Because they come in as a page, although there's a four ones. So, or maybe this person 
still need to grow up or whatever they've got to offer you may not be what you want or that you just don't trust it okay so we've got the eight of swords in reverse queen of wands in reverse six of swords spirit says mm, don't have to think about this person don't let this person uh, have you stuck at one place when you can actually you know move forward and really get what you want in life in general or in love and queen of wands here is in love first Mm, so it's definitely saying to not pay attention to this person <laughs> to this person person from your past if there is somebody from your past however if you're single taurus two of wands indicates there could be a choice coming in right um options two options coming in i feel like temperance in reverse it's gonna make you feel and for some of you maybe this is what what's going on right now right you may be feeling kind of like i'm not sure mm this is <laughs> i heard the word crazy this is making me go crazy so maybe there there is or there are two options if not it's coming in okay there'll be two options coming in for some of you and i feel like you will have to decide you have to decide who you're going to give your attention to whom you're going to invest your time and energy into and the six of swords you will choose one and you will leave one i definitely see that that's for some of you okay let's see more tours for some of you it's you finding love while you're away while you're on a vacation or while you're traveling if you're single if you're currently connected with someone taurus i sense this person would like to offer you stability in this connection but feel like or it could be you offering it to this person but someone definitely has um hesitate i would say could be doubting if if this is right if this is the right thing to do or if this this person is completely sincere so i definitely see some doubts here mm. but at the end of the day somebody needs to choose right with the two of wands to make a choice We've got the ten of swords in reverse five cups in reverse and these six of wands in reverse seven of swords in reverse hi this for me also with the six of cups here feels like someone from your past is returning and this person that's for some of you yeah um this person you have already caught them lying or cheating or did something wrong to you in whatever way shape or form eight of pentacles here in my first you're not focusing on them you just want to get out of this drama five of wands in my first you just want to go through healing and recovery and try to be as positive as possible again six of wands in my first this person has fallen from grace and this is that one person whom is going to return six of cups this is the cup the cups here and the page of cups i'm sensing it could be the same person this person is going to come in return apologize but you're going to be so guarded right with the nine of wands you've already hurt me once shame on what hurt me once shame on you hurt me twice shame on me i don't know something like that i'm so bad with all of these <laughs> How do you say all of these quotes and whatnot, uh, these sayings? I'm so bad at them. I always can't remember the words, the exact words, but I know what it means. But I'm pretty sure you know what it means as well. But I feel like a lot of you will have your guards up. This person is going to communicate with you. And it might also leave you with the tool once here where you're going to have to make a choice. Do I reconcile with them? Or do I move forward? So you you be thinking about it with a temperance here. Some of you you are gonna move towards karma water with this person. Maybe you give this person a chance, but for some of you you will not. I'm sensing you're gonna walk away. So I see a fifty fifty chance here because two of ones. To me, it's fifty fifty. Some of you you're just going to ignore them and just keep moving forward, moving on with your life. And uh, some of you, you might consider giving this person a second chance. But let's see a little bit more here, Taurus. The Empress. Someone sees you as the Empress, right? You are a high-value woman or high-value man. You know your worth. And you, you know, you're very abundant. You're full package. Someone sees that about you. So there could be, again, an offer coming in. Uh, or two offers where you, it's going to lead you to having to make a choice between two and four pentacles high five offers i feel like for a lot of you again someone from the past is going to return 
um, some of you it's returning to see the children as well. If you have children with this person, that's just for some of you. If you don't have children with this person, because Six of Cups can indicate children as well. And the Empress is perpetually pregnant, so it could indicate that as well. Somebody, a uh, smart Alec, <laughs> sometimes you get these comments, so annoying, right? Well, I don't see, I don't see where, where is pregnancy in, in, in the cards. I'm the reader. I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling. <laughs> Don't tell me you don't see. I don't see any. This is why sometimes I have to explain the cards. Because else they're going to think, oh, I don't see it. Oh, I don't understand. Just listen to me and that's it, okay? It's just so annoying. But anyway, <laughs> see, this is why I don't like to open up my comments. I'll start ranting in my videos. And the higher flame of verse four pentacles. This person is still holding on very closely to their heart. Even though both of you are separated, because the higher fun here is in love first. Oh well, this person is going to return. Unless, if you don't give this person a chance, you move forward, that you have two other options coming in. Some of you, I feel like these options could be people far away from you, or just different, very different. Different from uh, your usual type, or different from... Um, your exes or your ex, different personality, different looks. That's what I'm getting here. All right, Taurus, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. First one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. If you're interested, check it out. The second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. But it's still valid, so you can uh, click on it, scroll the way down, look with. I'm not sure if I already said that. I'm repeating it pop, probably. Because it comes so automatic. I say it all the time, so I'm not even thinking when I'm saying it. And sometimes I repeat it. But um, you guys know I post your videos every day, almost every day. So these videos are still new, so they're still valid, all right? And I'm, o I'm also open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Alright, take it Taurus. Bye.